drum samples are the single best thing to ever happen to hard rock and heavy metal. Here's why they're just simply better than real live drums. Number one, no talent required. Let's be honest, learning how to record drums takes time. All those microphones, all those mix techniques, setup time, tuning drums, phase issues, placement, hell, it can take years of failure before you finally start producing professional results. Drum samples just allow you to short circuit that learning curve, get the professional results that you're after, and you won't have to bother with learning anything. It's like cooking with a microwave and calling yourself a chef or hiring someone else to do all the real work and you take the credit. Drum samples deliver instant results so you can spend your time doing more important things like video games and Pornhub. Number two, you don't even have to hit hard. I have seen countless videos on YouTube where the drummer isn't even hitting the drums with any kind of strength, yet massive cannon-like sounds are pouring out of the speakers. That's because they've replaced every single hit with a sample of a much more talented drummer hitting the drum correctly. Now, I'm not gonna mention any names, but all you have to do is look at some of the more popular YouTube drummers and take a closer look. It's like, oh fuck, you couldn't possibly be serious with that, but for some reason, you motherfuckers fall for that shit all the time! But then again, the world is full of gullible people. Just look at all the lockdown protesters. True story, I had a band come in the studio a number of years ago raving about a drummer that they found online who could play warp speed on an electronic drum kit. And you can certainly do that if you crank the sensitivity on those electronic drums to maximum because you'll barely even have to touch the drum to get it to trigger. I mean, you can play way faster than if you actually had to hit the drum with any kind of force. Same thing with an acoustic kit. Put a bunch of triggers on, crank the sensitivity up, and you'll sound like the god of thunder while hitting like the delicate flower that you really are. It's a win-win for everybody involved and is sure to push the boundaries of music. And it's certainly going to make your music awesome. Number three, no studio required. Studios cost money. Even with affordable drum mic packages, high quality, inexpensive preamps, and great affordable monitors, you've got better things to do with your money than invest in such trivial things. Why spend a thousand bucks when you can just spend 89 bucks on Easy Drummer? It's less work and will sound far better than you can manage anyway. And you can put your money into more important things like Pornhub Premium. Number four, it's far less dangerous. Maybe you live in an apartment, Maybe your neighbors are just pricks who hate the idea of anyone around them having a good time. Or maybe they claim that it's a quiet neighborhood yet are outside all day running chainsaws, lawnmowers, and leaf floors, yet freak the fuck out any minute somebody plays a fucking instrument. I'm gonna make this very clear. Nobody out there needs a visit from the cops. There have been far too many cases where innocent people have been gunned down by trigger-happy dum-dums who can't tell the difference between a handgun and a Nintendo controller. Hell, some guy last year got blasted off his front porch just for looking to see what was going on. It's no longer a case of, hey, you want to turn that down? We don't want to give you a ticket. It's more a case of, show me your hands, get on the ground, crawl towards me, lock your legs, and then get shot five times for pulling up your underwear by an air 15 with the words you're fucked emblazoned on the side of it brandished by a total asshat with no regard for human life nobody and i mean nobody needs a visit from somebody with a badge a gun and who's pissed off at the world and just looking for an excuse to hurt people especially when his friends will investigate him and find no wrongdoing no matter how blatant the crime with drum samples you can just put on headphones and not disturb the people around you which is ultimately far safer. Number five, your house doesn't smell like a drummer. Drummers burn up a lot of energy while playing. That energy is converted into heat, which in turn creates sweat. And oh man, does that ever smell terrible. If you've never walked into a drum room after a day of tracking and gagged on that heinous stench hanging in the air like a freshly detonated chemical weapon, Consider yourself fortunate. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Real drummers look great in a YouTube video, but that's not giving you the whole story. And in this case, it might actually be a good thing. If you've ever driven through Amarillo, Texas on I-40, you might have an idea of what I'm talking about. No. 
Number six, drum samples won't fuck your girlfriend. This is the real strength of drum samples because it's not the drummer in your band playing the drums, it's someone else in another studio playing on a more expensive kit with more expensive mics through more expensive gear recorded by someone with far more talent than you. The advantage here is not only will you get a perfect drum sound, you won't have to go anywhere near your drummer or have him come by your house. And he won't fuck your girlfriend while your attention is focused on trying to squeeze a decent mix out of his terrible off-time performance. Number seven, they are a fantastic way to write and arrange a song. I started out on a Commodore 64 with a rudimentary drum sequencer called Funky Drummer way back in 1986. Now, it did sound like shit, but it was a fantastic writing tool. Nowadays, we have access to stellar drum samples and libraries, and they become an invaluable part of the songwriting process. And it's certainly translated into mind-blowing music being created. I mean, like, just take a listen to, uh... Hmm. Let me get back to you on that one. Number eight, no maintenance costs. Worn out drum heads sound like shit. It costs money to replace those and it's always a good idea to have a fresh set of heads on a drum set before recording. Sticks can break, cymbals can crack, all of that adds up to money that your drummer just doesn't have. And even if he does have it, he's got better things to spend it on. Like, Pornhub Live. So there's a very good chance that you're gonna have to fork out your own hard-earned cash to replace the elements that he won't. With drum samples, you can just replace the shitty sounds he's producing on his broken down kit with fresh, perfect sounds that need zero tuning. Because even if he does splurge on new heads for the kit, there is no way in hell he is ever gonna put the effort forth to learn how to tune his kit. Number nine, it's 2020. I saw some guy post something up on Facebook the other day about it's 2020, so there's nothing wrong with autotune. And I thought I'd follow that same logical path. It's 2020, what's wrong with drum samples? See, unbeatable logic. Number 10, you sound just like everyone else. Now this is simply the greatest part about using drum samples. You're using the exact same sounds that everyone else is. You'll fit right in with your genre of music because there's literally nothing unique about you. It is an ironclad guarantee that you'll be part of the crowd. And if you time align everything, you'll take the drummer completely out of the song. It's a total win for everybody. Help. I'd recommend not even trying to record the drummer and just write everything via MIDI. Not only will everything be perfectly on time, you can program beats that are physically impossible to play, like a basic 4-4 with most drummers. Just think of all the new amazing musical frontiers you're gonna open up just like everybody else is doing.